Hi guys, there is Mocho here na leo niko na Truth Watchdog mwenyewe. Mmekuwa mkisema yani kila mahali kwa DM, TikTok, YouTube mmekuwa mkisema tumtafute. So ndio huyu tumemleta tena. So hi Truth. Hi, how are you? Fine. Aki kama kawaida hebu sema ile intro yako fulani. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, kama K kama kawa, Truth Watch Dog hapa hivi. Naleta ukweli ka dawa mkipenda mna meza mkikata tuna wamezesha kwenye stories za 254. Make sure na subscribe na hit my notification hapo. Zikamwe. Eh? Yeah. So Truth. Uh. Eh watu wengi sana wamekuwa kiuliza wanataka wa, kusikia opinion yako kuhusu una feel venye Supreme Court ili rule kuhusu hiyo story ya LGBTQ. What's your take on that? Uh I think we should see it this way. What is the take of Kenyans on that? Yes. Unaona? Yeah. Because if it's from the supreme point of view, itakuwa eh hey, wame rule. Lakini wa Kenya mmewapata hiyo rule. Bro, I, I can serve you with meal, yeah? It doesn't mean you have to eat. No mm. So una get mpaka zenyewe the the three arms of government. In Kenya we have three, right? We have the legislature, we have the judiciary and we have the executive. <clears throat> Now this was a decision of the judiciary. These three arm, uh, arms of government ni kama tu the holy trinity uh, father son and holy spirit so pali father and son wana disagree na holy spirit then you understand like that one does not hold water anymore it might be passed in court siku na watu shinda kwa koti inakuja ngera jeandika hapa hivi hapa hivi nje hakuna inakuanga tu ulishinda huko lakini hapa reality ni different unaona so for me uh, what has given me hope is actually i called on a uh, On, on on the church i called on the leaders and all of them have come out furiously against the same matter unaona so wale watatu wale hata ukiangalia ni watu wazee sana yani watu yani i think in a way ni kama wamesha ruin maisha yao maybe tunakuna unaweza pata alafu unaweza pata pia ni watu wa masonko ndo wanafanyia ujinga wachana watu tu maskini tunaenda huko tukina manzi wa kibera sijui manzi wa manzi wa meru sorry tu manzi wa meru na watu tu bumbavu tungine Tunajaribu kuangalia at, eh kama masonko ana kisi ananga dem na dem oh boy na boy anakula na nyuma atakuwa song watu tu hitu nakwambia tunakufa watu hey, watu ukiangalia afya mtu anakaa sijui nini hata heri guy god forbid unalewa so you find that uh, some of these people are are trying to either they are corrupted unalewa hakuna let me tell you naniambia wa Kenya again the most corrupt institution in Kenya is not police Tafadhali is not any security service the most corrupt one of them is the judiciary let me tell you the truth hakuna mikora kama hii na hawa kulangi 200 ati 200 300 anapewa ofisi hapo na zamani corrupt <laughs> wala wanakulaga mzigo pesa mzuri na kuvunja mgongo ndio maana unapataga yani almost kila lawyer aizi serve more than five years akosa shamba juu hapo hivi trade zinafanyikaga ni mzito unaelewa so i really understand when Watu wakaanza kusema the 16 billion eh uh, wife wa Biden kukuja there is some we can't say all of this is coincidence unaelewa atuizi sema tu ni chakula alafu if it really doesn't matter like uh hakuna uh, kitu kama yana take place why should america come out and start defending like uh, uh we just came here to give money for food we are not uh, for this why are you coming out to defend yourself against this you know yeah because after i saw the, there's a video i saw um il, ilifanywa white uh, white house huko maju um kuna mtu alikuwa anasema they, they are going to withhold aid from uh, if uganda haita legalize your story ule sije kama umeona kitu kama hiyo take your aid and take your aids as well that is <laughs> that is exact, exactly what you're saying okay yes just take your aid away unajua unajua kitu fani ni haja my dear people are not seeing this thing okay we have received aid to medish tumeanza kutombana mikundu mademo wameanza kukulana yani wameanza kupigana mafinga so in short kuleni mshibe ndio muone haraka are you getting my point yeah. lakini hapa what do you understand with the with the drought uwe na kama na songa So there are few of course whom we will lose due to hunger and it is natural state of life at a symbol to exist lazima ikule swara unaona so kuna hizo vitu lazima zi happen it is it is better let me tell you if you ask me to choose between which death it is better i lose a few of my people through hunger as we strategize to come up with a long lasting you know solution to it rather than unipe msaada na unipe na condition Wacha wacha tufundisha watoto kudinyana as early as four years as early as seven years what was happening in Tanzania courtesy of uh, 
diary of a wimpy kid written in where US if it is written in US then give it to your children there wacha kutupatia sisi kama msaada huko so any 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 any, any leader mwenye ana kama against this as an african who ana kuwa viewed as an enemy unaelewa na ukiuliza an enemy of what what do you understand the difference between a digestive system and a reproductive system common sense yani kitu ya kwambia mtoto pupu sio chakula hivyo tu shimo sio pipe hivyo tu basic what do you, why why are you so much fighting for this so these people are not here because they love us unaelewa they are not here because they need us they are here because we have what they want na hiyo ndio mayutu wa Kenya mwelewi. Ha watu wa yuko hapa kusupport wakina Sijui Gedaiga whatever you call them. Wakina Gedaiga wakina Manzi wa Meru na hizi pumbafu zingine zote choku. Unaelewa? They are not there to support these guys. They just want these guys to showcase to these uh, hungry broke youth that if you do these things now you are better off, you are accepted in society, you you can be taken to US. Trust me, at US you still need to work. Ni kweli. There is nothing that comes for free. There's a video there's a video um um niliona ya kina manzi manzi wa meru nimekumbuka you mention uh, whereby they were saying hakuna mtu wa LGBTQ mwenye uh, LGBT sijui kama kuna LGBT mwenye ako na mwenye hana pesa. These guys are broke. Maskini ya Mungu. Mimi nakwambia okay kama wako na do are they driving any of them wenye unajua Sijui but Manzi Wameru alisema yeye analipa yeye analipishanga sijui 100k per shot so sijui maybe Awaka mtu analipisha nani 100k mkundu imekonda shonde na mwangika Skiza hapa my dear If somebody is telling you they are rich then everybody the politicians we know the businessmen we know they should come out telling us they are rich I'm telling you no rich person will ever tell you I'm rich you will see it Tu watu tunatembea huko kwa tu media si muende citizen Baini show Baini show citizen Baini show KTN muende mkae chini one hour tuamini. Wacha ni kuja kwa hizi media za online hizi ndogo ndogo hapa ati oh, I am rich analipishanga 100 million. Huo mtu kama analipishanga sana ni tao. Unaona? Na hata ni, ni, ni mkundu meraruka za his finta muscles are dead. So that guy, anyone telling you that being an LGBTQ is being rich. They are lying to you. Those are those are popers. Yeah? Unaelewa? Ni watu kwa society una, unajua kuna poverty. Alafu kuna below poverty line. Hawa kwa huko chini. Unaona huko chini kwa mchanga. Ya hiyo below poverty line. Because I, I, I'm telling you. If you want real support. You want to have real people in your life. But real people will always tell you the truth. Bro. You have a psychological problem. This is a psychological problem. We need to sit you down. Talk, you, you know, talk to you as a man. Kwambia bro. Hata ukeka nyuele. Hata upandisha makucha. Ukue tiger. 